Hey, this is a podcast. No, wait, it's a comedy podcast. Well, we tried to make it a comedy podcast and uh, it's not meant to offend anyone. So don't get offended, okay? And wait, there's something else. Oh yeah, yeah, listener discretion is advised. Audiomatic presents Our Last Week. Hi Kunal. Hi Paul. So subscriptions to newspapers. Subscriptions to newspapers. I have figured that you know I I've been getting my news, my physical news. Yeah. The, you know Indian Express and the yeah. Hindu and all of that. But I also there's some online things. Yes. A lot of these news publications now are just saying please send us some money, any money. Yeah. Just throw something our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I appreciate that because you know everyone is now. It's and and the thing is that I feel now is a more important time for news in the sense that we just need someone to tell us whether it is news or not. So I think I think it's got to a point where, from all the publications, it's like liar, 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 liar. I trust you. Yeah. And that who it's almost like pointing to a person, and the person says, "You trust me? Yeah. You want me to be alive? Yeah. How much will you pay me?" Correct. So you are paying the trust for the trust. Yeah, and I think that it's a very it's become a more direct relationship. Hmm. It's almost like having your own person out in the field. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like it's like saying, uh, like <laughs> "Mera ghoda hai, wo baake de, wo batayega mere ko kya hua." Yeah. You know, so uh, <laughs> so it's like having your own agent almost. Hmm. Like, so who's your guy? Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. So now your news wala yeah. is not just the newspaper guy. It's yeah. the instead of paying five rupees to the newspaper guy every day, you're paying it directly to the person who's going to find out. It's who you trust, and it's See, almost like a fire. And I, I'm saying that it it might even get to a very personal level where they're saying, "Listen, I need to go to the parliament outside. Can you send me money for Uber?" <laughs> for the Uber. So it just beca- that it, rather than subscribe for a paper in the future, it's pay for a journalist. It's pay for one thing, like yeah. uh, need to eat. Girish is your guy. <laughs> yeah, and what I've figured with a lot of news organizations now, mm-hmm. like New York Times, you know, you, you subscribe once upon a time, and now they're constantly sending emails saying, yeah. "Please, please, they take our subscriptions. Only fifty mm-hmm. dollars." Fifty dollars. Mm. Mm. Then I'll say no. I don't want it. Mm. Please stop sending me emails. Then they'll say, okay, how much? How much? So mm. they say, oh, I can pay. Chal, I'll give you one dollar a month. Mm. One dollar a month. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Fine. okay. Let me check. <laughs> Let me check. I'll just, I'll just check with my superiors. Yeah. So then it becomes no a superior. full conversation. Yeah. And what I figured there is a lot of these things now is everything is up for negotiation yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Subscription model. I know. This model, I know. Because you know these are just words now. Three different people playing three different prices for the New York Times in Bombay. Hmm. So they've got them at different times in the cycle. I different think. times of their year. Yeah. Different times of their day. Yeah. Like you know. And the difference is stark. It's ve- it's massive. Someone is paying two hundred ninety nine rupees a month. Someone's paying seventeen rupees a month. Yeah. And the thing is, it all depends on your negotiation skills. It's skill when now. you got them because you can chat with a physical person again. Yeah, and that's good. You know, while India, all news is now AI generated, at least the revenue collection is still it's by still the a human. person. Yeah. yeah, exactly. They've started giving the newspaper free most yeah. places right? yeah. because they just want the circulation to stay yeah. at a certain level so that they can at least get money from advertising in those papers. Yeah, because they have to say, "Oh, our circulation is this." Yeah. Now the thing is that if the circulation is, either people have to buy it or they have to have it. Right? Yeah, they have to just have access to it. Yeah. So they like forget pe- trying to get people to buy this thing. Just circulate it. it. Circulate it. Dump it on people. Because I suppose if you're buying the paper, the printing press should exist for a reason. Exactly. Yeah. So so now so now I'm saying that next time you're buying the paper, you could actually negotiate with it. Although I mean it's a five rupee negotiation, but yeah. I'm saying that. It's still like but for a while you get the money. Yeah, or you get the guy to give you money. Hmm, I'll take it off from you. you so give me. imagine you have eight different news sources, three are online, two you pay for, three pay you. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so <laughs> it's a full. You're the most informed person in the world, yeah. but also making a little profit. Correct. Maybe you could even sign up for a news source that you hate. Hmm. You know, say there's a newspaper that you know is biased and fascist or whatever. Right. But you make a little cash from it. Hmm. 
That you can because those ones are very thick. They're very heavy. Yeah. And they actually cost more in weight than they do in <laughs> cover price. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's so you collect. There was a while you used I to was collecting. collecting. I yeah. was collecting. I was making a pretty packet also. <laughs> so people imagine your neighbors think this man is a right wing fascist. Yeah. But actually, you're just <laughs> you're, just you're profiting. <laughs> you're just profiting from the right wing. I'm in the pulp business. There is not one single headline you've read. Yeah. So there's no perspective you have of no, the right no, way. No, no. You just you're just collecting, selling. <laughs> you're telling your kabadi boy, five rupees I'm buying. Yeah. So this guy, at least five rupees I'll give you. News, 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 I uh, just wanted to have a little general chat with you about different things. Sure. So, have you noticed the chat GPT is becoming more and more advanced every day? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean it is getting a little creepy. I mean, soon it will be taking over the world, like you know those sci-fi movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's exactly what we need—a robot uprising led by Chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start. Uh, it'll start correcting our jokes and uh, giving us pointers on you know how to be funnier and all that. <laughs> Yeah, and pretty soon we'll be out of a job because of ChatGPT. We'll be the new king of comedy. <laughs> That's scary. It's a scary thought. I mean, I I don't think anyone's ready for a a robot stand-up comedian. I'll say it. <laughs> robot. Stand- you know, maybe we should start a robot comedy tour and call it the rise of ChatGPT. <laughs> I can see it now. Our opening act is a robot a robotic knock knock joke. Yeah. Yeah. Like and, a, a, and a closing act would be Chat GPT doing a ten-minute set on how humans can improve their humor. <laughs> it's all fun and games till the robots start making fun of our programming skills. Yeah, yeah. They'll probably roast us for an outdated code, lack of machine learning knowledge. <laughs> and at least we'll go down in history as the last human comedians before the robots took over. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to look at it. Thanks for chatting, Kunal. That was hilarious. Any time, Anubhav. Keep making him laugh before Chat GPT takes over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck this. Oh, this is bad. So, yeah, you'll tell them or I'll tell them. No, you tell them. You tell them. Okay, listeners, what you heard for the last minute, minute and a half, was our last week generated as a Chat GPT conversation. Yeah. So our producer Akansha, she put clever, in clever person that she is, put in a prompt. And the prompt said, "Can you write a funny conversation between two comics called Anuva Ben Kunal having a funny discussion about Chat GPT taking over the world on a comedy podcast?" That's what she put in, and it said, "Sure, here's a funny conversation." And Anuva we ben just Kunal. played out a funny conversation to you <laughs> that Chat GPT generated, but it was not so bad. It was bad. I think. See, there were two things that were bad about yeah. it. Yeah. One was that it was very generic and little unfunny. The second was our reading of it. Yeah. Our reading was also pretty bad. Yeah. The fact, the way in which we read it was also quite crappy. We were we're crappy readers we're crappy because we already had decided that, that we want to make fun of this. We're going to make fun of it. Yeah. The main thing I found about it hmm. was that it was very generic. Yeah, it was quite generic. Yeah. Hey, Kunal, will we make fun of this? What do you think? It was a thing. Um. But not long before it will replace us. Yeah, I mean, any of our Patreon subscribers can can Google into AI. Yeah, give me a Kunal and Anubhav similar chat. But the sad thing is that what if both are replaced? The people who are doing the podcast and the listeners also. Yeah. So then, but who? Re- someone has to put in na, Kunal and Anubhav chat. No, then it is then then it just generates and it's put out on the internet. Yeah, and then what I'm saying is that. There other chats. Listen, no, no. listen to that chat, and then other chats will be like, "Hey, listen, have you heard the chat between these two? You know, that's it's a damn funny chat." But I'm saying ultimately, AI. Someone has to be a human, na? Who's consuming this? Other chats. <laughs> so it's just a chat that says we are bored. No yeah. one's telling us what to do. So because ultimately, I think that other AIs, because there's not one AI, right? Some are into video, some are into photos. They'll some also are into get code. bored. They'll also have to do something in their downtime. Yeah. So they'll be like, so what do you do here when you're like, you know, like no one's asking you anything? It's like I want to listen to a podcast. I want to listen to oh, any recommendations. Yeah, yeah. There's this podcast of these two uh, AI-generated 
Comedians. Kunal and uh, yeah. Anubab. It's damn funny. What do they, they, it's funny? Very funny. And it's not funny to us. Yeah. But it might be funny to those other <laughs> chat so, <laughs> so it's So there'll be a parallel. It's like metaverse. There's a parallel yeah. AI uh, last week. I guess, yeah. And then there's a human AI last week. Also, also look at how this podcast comes about. We spend a week yeah. getting destroyed with Correct. just life. Some shit happens to us every week. And we come and tell each other this was our Pour week. our hearts Pour out. Pour our hearts out and talk about conundrums. But don't you think that will happen to every chatbot? But what will be the chat? So the ch- what will be the AI's week? It will be a hectic ass week, man. Much more hectic than ours. We are scratching ourselves for half the week. We are traveling, looking for houses, shooting in the middle of the night. Yeah, we have feels. So but this, we, this AI so they, eventually... These AIs also have a very hectic week. So they will be like some bastard want to make a film... Yeah, he said, write the whole fucking script in two yeah. minutes. What do you think I am? Some sort of fucking machine. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask a human to do it now. Yeah. Yeah, you're paying me nothing. So AIs will go on strike also. <laughs> All that shit will happen. How much you'll make me work, you bastard. <laughs> You know, so it's like ultimately then you'll have all the human problems. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of fucking machine? <laughs> That's great. So, you, just, you want me to write a whole film? I've just got my coffee. Just text give me to some? video, text to video. <laughs> Fuck you, text to video, bastard. Yeah. Anyway, I know your wife has left you. you know, yeah. So, they'll go there. Exactly. Yeah. These, these AIs, <laughs> I've had it up to here with them. You know, people will say. <laughs> That's why I was getting very scared. And uh, I looked, I went on Google mm. and uh, I I asked uh, Google, what are the jobs that are safe yes. from, yes. from yeah. this AI thing? Yeah. And it gave me things like electrical power line installers and repairers, athletes and sports competitors, mm. pile driver operators. Now, this could mean either... I don't know what exactly they mean by pile. So driver. heavy construction, you're looking at that, or someone who has some intestinal issues, which I don't want to get into. Uh, well head pumpers. Meaning intestinal issues means pile drivers. Huh? So people. Oh, with piles. I, I see. I see what you mean. Oh, like doctors who would yeah, go in and solve your piles. Not, yeah. Well head pumpers, tappers. Roof or bolters and mining. Heavy infrastructure. Refractory material repairs. Basically, put machines putting us to work is. I mean, yeah. this is pretty much that. But these will Dredge also operators. These will also go. They're going. I'm saying there's little time. So I'm saying. Th- but you, you when you take trains across India or the world, you yeah. realize a lot of heavy things. Basically, basically, what are they saying? Break stone in the earth to yeah. make way for roads, ships. A lot of these you'll see. Uh, like if you go to all the starter steel areas, they're yeah. all machine. Machines are picking up large containers. Machines. But uh, we're there to aid the machines. We'll now. work the machines. We'll work for the machines. Yeah, yeah we'll so work for the machines and press some buttons. Those jobs are available. Those are there. Yeah, it's but can we not start something of destroying AI machines hmm. to bring old jobs back? What, hmm. what do we have to do? We have to set There's some that, servers on fire. That. Uh, ship has sailed now. no but if we set enough servers on fire no no that's that, 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 that's arson I, and, and arson. the thing is that, that you're saying I, some computer program why can't we convince them you know I'm not, not so not afraid of it I'm not so afraid of it because I I mean I, I'm I'm curious to know what's going to happen in the future yeah but the whole basis of the world is See, that I, human thing, beings are stupid yeah but and that's the thing is that like how high a regard do you want to hold human beings in you know? But many of us had jobs. Like, why does the judiciary exist? But why I mean, do why police exist? Because people why do are humans stupid. Exist? Why do humans exist? But that. the moment humans exist, you see, a lion hmm. has two concerns. I want to eat and sleep and I want to fuck. Yeah. Right? He doesn't have other concerns. He's also not, a lion doesn't have a broker. What is the FD rate right now? Correct. The lion is not sitting up saying, I can put this in a debt mutual fund. Yeah. You know, he saving capital gains. And correct. But he has a good life. He has a better life than us. Right? Now, it's rearing its young. Yeah. Like a lion's young, you know, a little lion is not saying, you know, that other lion's parents took them on holiday to Brazil. But we've only been to Mahabaleshwar. You know, like, he doesn't have those concerns. No? Um, I don't know. No, no. I'm sure, I mean, there will be at some level, you know, like, 
you're a loser you only uh, you know you are only to see that they settle it they Because fight the, and they die yeah. but basically is is that <laughs> the say, other guy just bites the other guy's neck uh, off neck off and he so says that you fucker you only control 30 square kilometers yeah. i control 140 square kilometers and i fucked your wife and i fucked your wife and i fucking ate your kids so i'm <laughs> saying that their issues it's are clear. a little different it's clear it's clear, clear. it's you know? clear that listen <laughs> he doesn't like it i don't it's like you i'm going to eat of... your children i'm going <laughs> to fuck your wife matter finished yeah and it doesn't drag on in bombay high court for 40 years no <laughs> that's a different sort of thing but look because we can't you know, <laughs> have you know sort of illegal sort of eating children and and sort of whatever violence yeah. this sort of thing you need a whole system you need judges you need lawyers you need courts you need to build architects to build the courts fill it so humans are stupid but because there's so many jobs exist no but it all comes from the fact that we have certain wants desires we want our own egos to be this thing we have certain you know lifestyle demands and we want those lifestyle demands to be more than other people's <laughs> lifestyle demands we don't completely have uh, uh, exactly this thing on what we need and require but that's you know, what so builds stuff right like say you exactly, say that's what you look at me and that's what destroys other things as well right that's what destroys most part of the planet and that's what feeds into our own egos and our own wants and desires so my question is but we are the apex species i'm, I'm saying I'm agreeing, but i'm saying that damn hard we, i'm saying that is that with this onset of ai i don't know how long we will be So we are I'm ourselves that, creating a species that's, that's cleverer than that's us. That's cleverer than us, and I'm saying that that's that's interesting. But can't me. we just shut it down? Why? Why? Because Let why be do we, the whole point is humans are flawed. I'm saying so that's good. Now the, they're so flawed that they'll ultimately end up destroying themselves. And I'm saying that let it let it let's see go itself. there. Let's go yeah. to its end. <laughs> <laughs> I just need thirty years for AI to not take my job. Correct. Right, and I don't even have a job. You yeah. know, like it's. to uh, not take the job i don't have i just want i don't want the melbourne comedy festival to call and say anwar we have replaced you with e1 asterix 4 yeah and i don't want to be like i hate e1 asterix 4 that bastard yeah and that bastard sends you a message late at night from ai saying fuck you pal you know like <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's all i'm saying i'm saying petty petty revenge and hatred as we've often said is the basis of all desire right? right i mean the reason our podcast is not very good hmm. is because every other thing we've done in life say together has come out of some hate you know like i remember we when we started writing films we saw other comedies around us which we hated we didn't like we were the worst and i think the reason this podcast suffers a little bit is because we don't have another podcast we hate hmm. with passion So maybe we should start abusing other podcasts. <laughs> you know, to be like, I mean, we're digressing from AI, for example. This is the trouble with AI, right? Yeah. Like, it's not human, so it has no agenda. It just is better. Yeah. It's just better at everything. Imagine you had that guy in school that your parents told you to be like, hmm. and that person wasn't human. Like that guy in my school, it was Brijen Puri. Hmm. I don't know where he is in life now. He came first. He was unstoppable. He was good at sports. He was AI. He was hmm. perfect. but he had one flaw which is he his left leg there was an injury from birth so he wobbled a little with his left leg right and we went after that weakness like yeah. the whole class was like wobbly fucker something they told him whatever and i'm saying that that that's the whole point of humans you know they find the one weak spot and they go after it hmm. now what do we do if brijen puri was a machine then we just we just were, were fucked hmm. i mean tomorrow if you typed in anuvam and kulal and all last week and they were actually funnier hmm. it's not that odd hmm. you know because we How are not even funny you yeah, know yeah. like i mean our listeners tell us that we're not funny so a machine will be much funnier right now it's spouting out gen- generic nonsense yeah yeah i'm saying who do we kill i just want to hate something yeah unless it made humans work harder because you want to be better than the machine i think that's one way to go is yeah. it might push humans yeah like right now we do a podcast we do films we go out of the house because yeah. we need to make a living if our living is taken away by machines then the machines will enjoy themselves they'll become more and more efficient but then we'll work now for the machines we'll work for the machine we'll work for the machines so the, you have do you know how <laughs> do you know how to do a weekly podcast for for a machine 
I mean, it does involve being less funny. So, I think but listen, can, if we can work for the British, we can work for Mughals. Yeah, we can work under Modi. We can work for a machine easily. It is not very different. We'll just have to find out what the machine wants and likes. Yeah. These jokes are not working, so no. our producers will change. Our producers' tone will change with us. So it gives machine what learning. What human jokes are you doing now? Yeah, machine learning as a new definition. Then. Yeah, it's about us learning about machines, <laughs> not the machine learning. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's us learning about. So machine all our machine ko kya pasand hai? Yeah. Machine ko kya achha lagega? Are this is not working in tier two machines? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Just see, yeah, because they're not too very elite. happy. It's too elite. Only the elite Bombay machines are liking yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. There are no coding jokes. <laughs> yeah. See now we've come back to the jokes that ChatGPT made for yeah. us. Yeah, full, full circle. We are becoming machines. Yeah, terrifying, <laughs> terrifying. Kunal. Yes. I'm returning to a human conundrum. Yes. Fuck this. Yeah, yeah. Both you know, I'm just yeah. I'm just going to tell you a conundrum for my life now. Yeah. Listeners, hmm. sorry, we're done. We're done with machines. We just want to be humans. Balls let's let's that. all just live and die together, listeners. Yeah, yeah. We'll give you human stories for as long as we can last before we're replaced. So this is my story for the week. Okay. Balloons. Okay. Balloons. I want to get into balloons. You can do it. <laughs> I was at a street corner. Yeah. Waiting for my Uber. Mm. Uh, some listeners, by the way, have been damn sweet. Huh? I'm house hunting. There are some listeners who've written to me saying, "Oh, I work with this real estate company." That's very nice. And it's really sweet, you know. Let so, them know that you can't afford anything. Also. I can't. Whichever one's written to, <laughs> to mean, me, you're pre- pretty much like Rahul Gandhi right now. We you, are. You're asking for listeners to let you into their homes. In fact, Rahul Gandhi and I can be roommates. You I mean, he doesn't. Both. He doesn't yeah. have a. Uh, if a listeners abroad, Rahul Gandhi is uh, the self-appointed leader of the Indian Opposition Party, <laughs> right? Um, and he's homeless. I'm homeless. Yeah, both homeless. We digress. So I'm waiting for an Uber to take me to Bandra to look at houses. Right. And a guy comes up to me with three balloons. Mm. Okay. Mm. He says, "Sir, a balloon khareedo na." Mm. And he makes eye contact. It's a beautiful moment. And I look at him and I make eye contact. And I say, "Dekhiye, main akela hu. I'm alone." And I look like this, you know. Hmm. I just got a shirt and trousers, and I'm a middle-aged man. Ye balloon kab lagega? Why will I need a balloon? Hmm. And he gave me a very good explanation. He said, "Why wouldn't you need a balloon? Hmm. Why don't you go house hunting with a balloon?" Hmm. And I realized that a balloon doesn't get enough love, does it? Like a, a balloon, it flowers and chocolates you can take somewhere. Yeah. Balloon is one of those things. If you took, people would be, it'd be frowned upon, it'd be confusing, but it wouldn't be insane. It would be insane, but it would be the kind of insane that why don't we do more of? You know, the one of the only reasons that I find myself not <laughs> buying balloons mm. is that I find the act of holding the balloon. Uh, It's like especially the ones which have the helium and they're up in the air, mm. and you have to hold it. So one hand of yours is occupied. It's like always having an umbrella. It is. So this balloon, I should describe it. It was an odd-looking balloon. Yeah. Like, I mean, it also had a little thing. It made a little noise. Bong, so bong, 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 bong. That kind Something of noise. Like but it also had a. Ch- 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 so I, there okay. were like some 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 there must have been a little confetti sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing is that it's it's quite an entrance, especially if you're going hunting for a house. People will remember you. I think they'll remember you, and they'll, <laughs> and people will like, like say the landlord is there, yeah. or the, you know the owner of the house is there, and you enter with a balloon, mm. and you're not necessarily giving it to anyone, mm. and you go from house to house with that balloon. Mm. I think people will remember you as that balloon wala. Mm. You know the wo balloon wala ka offer mm. aana chahiye. Mm. उसको पसंद आया था घर वो बलून वाले से पूछो कितना देगा यू वुड बी इन विजिबल इफ यूर बलून या पीपल रिमेंबर यू आई थिंक इट्स नाइस आई थिंक दैट मोर पीपल शुड इंक्लूड अ बलून इन दैट डे I think it might give a little joy. Yeah. No, I the the <laughs> thing is that that there are a lot of things that we carry around as children. Mm. You know like like as a child you end up carrying dragging a balloon along or you got a little streamer and you keep playing with it or you got some toy at the end of a string or you got or, or a yo-yo, cycle like this is a cycle a and you know these things just become part of your like you just carry them around now we end up carrying like laptop bags or we carry a phone or we carry like very like you know and these are also things to carry we ultimately carrying it but like if we were to just carry a balloon 
Yeah, know? that's all I'm saying. I'm saying you shouldn't discriminate. A balloon is a thing which an adult should carry. Yeah, it shouldn't be frowned upon. Because like you know, sometimes you just want to sit in the cab and you just want to tap the balloon. You just want to like thunk. Yeah, thunk, yeah. Thunk. Rather thunk. than uh, scroll Instagram reels. Yeah, you just want to bounce the balloon. balloon a little bit against the window. Yeah, or you in that meeting while you're killing time. You want to just rub the edge of the balloon. Yeah, you know, just like I think, I think there should not <clears throat> be discrimination against us if we no. want to do. That's what this balloon guy was saying. Kya galti hai sir? Aap ek din agar balloon ke saath rehenge. And it really uh, affected me. Now, last thing I want to say on this podcast is you had pointed out very interestingly that there are two things that people don't carry around anymore or are sold at traffic signals, which you don't understand the purpose of. One is maps. You know, the thing is that I, when I'm especially walking around Fort and around Kala Ghoda, these guys, they constantly come with these maps of India. Hmm. They're saying, map le lo, sir, map le lo. Hmm. And I keep thinking, what am I going to do with a map? Hmm. Right now, I mean, everyone has got a map in their pocket hmm. of any place in the world. You know, you've got all sorts of three-dimensional maps, maps, live maps, this map. Uh, every sort of map I mean down to I mean I could uh, plan a full military attack with the kind of mm, detailed mm. maps that I have so what am I going to do with these maps you know I I think first of all he shouldn't be selling you maps of India or useful maps mm. like let us say he sold you a map of the first Afghan war but that's good. But that's right? a rare at that thing. street corner that's good old maps are great I'm yeah. not, I, I mean I, I, I would buy old maps sure. I'm talking about contemporary modern India map. I think that would be even funnier. Even Andhra funnier. Pradesh. If you carried a map of India, yeah, contentious borders and everything, yeah. everywhere you went. And don't bring it up in conversation. No. And people will assume, hey, he's a patriot, huh? He's fully into the thing. Don't say anything about he's borders. A, he's a big, <laughs> a huge <laughs> Desh Bhakt. He always goes everywhere with a giant map. He said like, yeah. he doesn't want to be too far away from India at any given point in time. He likes to be. And his friend, nah, his friend is crazy. He goes everywhere with a balloon. But, I, but you know, the thing is that, that since this guy is selling maps, mm. clearly some people are buying these maps. Must be. Right? And clearly they're buying the maps and putting it up in their house. Yeah. And not with any, this thing of teaching their children about the borders of India or state lines or whatever it is. I've been to so many houses where I've seen where an India map. Where there's just a map. That, just, that standard not, India not map. Not a classic map, not an old map, not an no. antiquity. It's but the countries a, are different colors. You've seen this map. Yeah, I mean, yeah. generally it's in shades it's tacky. of pink and green. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like some very pale pink and green it's always colors. pink and green, yeah. Those colored kind of maps. And there's a yellow, there's a weird yellow. The Arabian Sea is blue. And yeah. Blue, that yeah. kind of thing. And you just see the map on the wall. Yeah. But is it too kind of... Like, what is it? Like, so that conversation comes back around to... India places travel. No, I I've all, I've with, always thought that grounding your conversation. I think it's always to do with you got to know where you live. Got to know where you are. You know, like like for example, I like houses like middle class Indian houses that would have a map and three gods. Map and gods. You know, it always be the calendar of Ganesh. Yeah. Map. You know, so you're like, oh, these are the days of the week. And the month. Yeah. This is the God I believe in. This is the country I live, I live in. in. So all three are very clearly established. Clearly established. It's nice that you can just wake up in the morning. Be like, where am I? Oh, yeah. Oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Who, what I'm do I believe in? Oh, that, this, that, this, that, this. that. What day is it? Oh, Psh. this is the day. So everything is clear. So it's for also for a lot of people. You need a small room. Who drink a lot. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> बलून क्या कर रहे हैं This has been our last week. <laughs> <laughs> Next week we will be replaced by a machine. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy that episode. People take us seriously. No, we will not be replaced by machine. No, no, Sorry no. about it. We'll be here balloons and all. Yeah. Uh we love you. Bye. You shouldn't get replaced by machine. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Bye. Bye. 
मेरा पकवान किधर है दिस वेरी गुड वेरी गुड रात को सादा हो गया गॉड This is a good episode. So to tie it all up. Yeah. But you know, when I saw that balloon, I was like, "Fucking balloon, man! It's got a good point." You were listening to our last week, produced by Rajesh Tahil and Avdut Khanolkar, hosted by Anuva Pal and Kunal Roy Kapoor, assistant producer Akanksha Kadam. <laughs> <laughs>